want to say a word for the policemen. What we found out, like when Mayor Jordan was telling them that they had to get everybody off the street, they would come in, sit down, have a cup of coffee at St. Anthony, say, I hate this. I didn't become a policeman to put people in jail for sitting on the sidewalk or lying on the sidewalk, or pushing a cart or whatever. They don't like that. Let's face it, to be honest about it, it's the business people. The business people feel it you know, may intimidate some of the tourists who's going to come and spend some money. Well, then go make your money somewhere else if that's where you feel about it. We're opposing Prop L uh, for this November ballot. We've decided to hold our first um, official press conference here in the Harvey Milk Plaza because Harvey Milk opposed a version of this very same law back in the 70s. I just spent six months uh, at federal prison in Lompoc for protesting torture. I'm glad to get here for this event. We have been fighting this kind of battle for a long time. These are what they call quality of life offenses. They're just wonderful. How we can assure the quality of life. When I first came back to San Francisco and took over as pastor at St. Boniface about 20 years ago, uh, Frank Jordan was the mayor. And they had a meeting of all the mayors of the country and Frank Jordan made a dramatic speech about we must protect the quality of life of all our people and get rid of those quality of life uh, sins, you know, those laws that say that you can't push a cart, you can't sit on the sidewalk, you can't lie on the sidewalk. We've got to get rid of those. But what did he do right after they went home? You know, they started picking up everybody's cart. The Chronicle put a wonderful a cartoon in the paper which they have down at St. Anthony's showing St. Francis, I'm a Franciscan, I should have my robe on but I didn't have time to get it, but putting, showing St. Francis pushing a cart across the bridge, leaving San Francisco is goodbye, you know. That's what I feel like sometimes when you hear these signs. I'm now almost 80. When this weather comes, all of us older people, your legs start giving out. Sometimes I have to sit down on the sidewalk. When I was in the prison, I couldn't do that. I'd go to the shoe. Well, is that what we're going to do here? We're going to put people in the shoe because they need to sit down. We opened the church when I was pastor there to let people have what we call sacred sleep during the day and sometimes during the night because people need to lie down. I've seen people 70, 80 years old. One day I went out and rescued a lady 70 years old sleeping on the sidewalk right in front of, right in front of our gate because, well, people need to sit down and lie down. So I'm very grateful to everybody that's fighting for this and we really, really have to make this happen. I buried an aunt of mine just recently. She was the oldest living survivor of the earthquake, 106 years old. And these are people who came over here under tough times and they spent their lives fighting to make this a good city, a city that's welcome to all people. And all people should be able to come. And when we feel like sitting down or even lying down, why not? This is our city. This is our home. We love it. We like to share it. So don't try to do those kind of crazy things again. By the way, I want to say a word for the policemen. What we found out, like when Mayor Jordan was telling them that they had to get everybody off the street, they would come in, sit down, have a cup of coffee at St. Anthony, say, I hate this. I didn't become a policeman to put people in jail for sitting on the sidewalk or lying on the sidewalk, or pushing a cart or whatever. They don't like that. Let's face it, to be honest about it, it's the business people. The business people feel it you know, may intimidate some of the tourists who's going to come and spend some money. Well, then go make your money somewhere else if that's where you feel about it. If you really love the city, you want to see everybody enjoy it, then let's get rid of all this crying and crazy ideas. We love it, and we love our people and our sidewalks. Thank you. Thank you.